Today we are going to try to turn this image to something dreamy looking using the free apps Lightroom and Snapseed. First after importing this to the Lightroom app, I'm going to do some standard corrections in the light menu. To record details in the sky, decrease the highlights. Increasing the shadows to bring info back from the darker areas. Tuning the whites here with two finger slide to make sure the brightest parts don't get clipped. Same with the black slider for the darkest areas. And just a little bit contrast. Coming to the color menu, adding a bit of vibrance. Now tapping the mix button to get into the HSL sliders. First I'm gonna tune the blues, moving the hues towards aqua a bit, darkening it by reducing the luminance, adding a bit more saturation. If you observe one thing you notice in the leaves most of the times is there are not only greens present but also yellows. So here to give the image more color contrast I will move the hues of these to opposite directions. So first for the greens moving the hues here towards aqua and adding saturation and more brightness. Now for the yellows, I am gonna move them towards orange which gives the image an interesting look. Adding saturation and luminance for more pop. Moving the orange shoes a bit towards red. Now saving this with highest image quality possible and importing to Snapseed for some selective edits. In Snapseed going straight to the selective filters. First I'm gonna try to remove the blues down here by reducing the saturation. Next more pop to the green leaves by increasing the saturation and some brightness. Same with these orangish leaves. One more filter here in the blue part of the sky to make it a bit more darker. To give the image some selective lighting, first I'm gonna use curves to darken the image. Then with masking, tapping the stacks icon here, view edits, curves and then brush. With the effect enabled and with the brush value at zero, I'll brush out the parts where the lighting is to be added. Tuning further with various levels of transparency. Now 
now using the curves again this time i will darken the shadows further by dragging the lower part towards right just moving the end point upwards to crush the blacks for a faded look next with the blue curves i am going to add some blue tones to the shadows by dragging the low point a bit upwards So here's the final result after the edits in Lightroom and Snapseed. Thanks for watching.